subscribes to Nani's Kitchen. There is a request from Nani to all the viewers that please, when you see my video, at least three fourth you can see, and then give your comment. And those who subscribe to Nani's Kitchen, please see it frequently. All of you, I request, please see my videos frequently. Don't miss. If you don't see it, simply subscribe without seeing. It will become a spam. That is how I lost lot of subscribers, which were just subscribed and they never saw my videos. Hope this will never happen in future, and you will help Nani. And you'll press the bell icon to see my video first. And to all, thank you so much. May Almighty bless you. Enjoy this recipe, which is very tasty with the parotta, chicken parotta, rumali roti, or any of the meals. Thank you so much. It's a summer chicken recipe, which is very very tasty, simple, with less masalas like chilies, etc. I have added more of onion and tomatoes along with the uh, citrus fruit that is lemon. This will subside the heat, improve your health, and supplement lot of nutrients which make you refresh. Hope you will enjoy this. You will like it. You will share with your friends, and then do comments. Please subscribe to Nani's Kitchen. One kilo chicken pieces cut and. Salt and turmeric powder applied over it and kept for say fifteen minutes or half an hour. Assalamu alaikum. Rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillah. Hizza hama yehiin. Two big onions. Say hundred and fifty grams of onion. Mix. Three tablespoon of curds, thick curds, and fifty grams of uh, onion slices, and then kept for two three minutes. Then that is also added. Even you can add the green chili pieces along with this. First set of onion should be brown. The second set of onion in the curd should be slightly glassy. That time, adding quarter kg of tomatoes along with four green chilies. Fry it well till it mixes well, and then it becomes. Very soft. It will take five minutes. Adding salt to it for the taste. Must be very careful because the salt is already added to the chicken. We can add it after tasting the gravy, etc. If it is required. Now let it fry for say five minutes. At this level, one, two, three teaspoon. Say one tablespoon full. it well and fry till the raw smell goes in this preparation the curd should be added less keep on mixing it now you can see that The masala is well mixed and become very soft. At this level, I am going to add the chicken pieces. Adding little 
and I'll mix it together. So that it mixes well with the onion, tomato and ginger garlic paste. Keep it for 2-3 minutes. Now, after 2 minutes, you can add adding 1 teaspoon of coriander powder. Now today I am adding the red chilli powder. I am adding just 1 teaspoon of red chilli powder for 1 kilo of chicken because I have already added the green chillies to it. Now mix it well. Mix it well. So that the masala goes well in the, the kitchen. Chicken pieces absorbs. The chicken pieces absorbs the Masala well. So keep the flame at the middle level. So, kasuri methi you can add. It will give you a very good taste. If you have, it is optional, otherwise, no problem. Because I am having, I am adding it. Now, to make it flavoring, I am have adding. Otherwise, no need to add all these things. Cumin powder, half a spoon. And then, fennel powder, half a spoon. If you require more spicy chicken, you can add the pepper. Otherwise, add very, very less pepper to it. It should not become very spicy. Because the days are very hot nowadays. I am using quarter spoon of pepper powder. In summer, when we uh, use more chilies and all, it will affect your digestive system and cause sometimes other problems. So better to avoid all the spicy things and add more tomatoes, onion and even if the green leaves like say uh, fenugreek leaves and uh, onion, what uh, spring onion leaves etc. you can add more. That will subside the heat and that will help you to give you more vitamins and nutrition. Now, at this stage, we have to add water. Say, the chicken should cook. So, I am adding, say, one tumbler of water. Just before closing, we have to add, say, one spoon or say a small spoon garam masala. Mix it well, then close it, let it cook for, say, 10 minutes. I have changed the vessel because that vessel was small. So I have changed it to the big vessel. It is convenient. Now I am adding, now it is almost cooked. I am adding 50 grams, not even 50, 25 grams of coconut pulp. And also the coriander and pudina leaves. Now let us mix it. 
and keeping it at the low level, low flame. Coriander and pudina leaves sprinkled and let us cook it at the low flame till it becomes thick. You should have this type of gravy so that it is very tasty with the chapati, paratha, rumali roti etc. Even with the rice we can use it. Any kind of rice. Now it is almost over. Simmer it for say 30 seconds then put off the flame. Thank you so much for watching my video.